Hello, it's Garen Lazar again, and today I'm visiting one of my favorite places in Orlando, Desertland, one of the largest indoor parks in America. So many attractions, and so many places to eat, it's a lot of fun. And today, I'm taking you on a little tour and showing you some of the best things they have to offer. So, I'll see you in there. All the stuff a lot of cool stuff. One place we'll go today is the 007 Museum here in Desertland. That's right, they have a 007 Museum and restaurant. So we'll check those out. So much to do here, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, of course they have a carousel, it's always a classic attraction for any park. This is more stuff over here. Yeah, there's there's a carousel. There's a jump start. It looks like R2D2 a little bit in the top. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, yeah this part of the auto museum. There's some, uh, Classic props here, like Fast and the Furious. And the monitor this. Great race. There's Hollywood Cars of the Stars. Bowling alley. It's more from the auto museum here. Yeah, even in Florida, they have some ice skating. <laughs> there are plenty of places to eat here, and they even have go kart tracks. Here, I'll show you a close-up in a second. That's been a while since I've been in a go-kart. Yeah. Of course, you get souvenirs. Plenty of them. And then up ahead on the left, you'll see one of my favorite soda shops. Rocket Fizz. So many cool flavors and a lot of strange flavors. Here we have more of the go-kart tracks.
This is cool. You can get some fresh squeezed orange juice. Yeah, there are a few of these in this building, so if one might not be open, they have other ones where you can use. The name's Bond. James Bond. <laughs> not a bad impression, I guess. There's more old cars, and up here is Bass Pro Shops. If you want to get to that, you have to go in from the outside in the parking lot. But we still, I mean, we, can, I mean, we can't film it. I love looking at the old cars. Very cool. Classic. Yeah, it's Bass Pro Shops. Wow. Two million dollar auto collection. More than two thousand... Oh, two thousand different cars. It's a Texas Motors. Power Sport. Up here on the left is something I'm interested in trying out where you throw axes <laughs> instead of Excelsior, it's called Axe-Celsior. But it's not open yet, maybe we'll get to try that out today. I'll, I'll find out what time it opens and maybe we'll come back. The floor, it's like you're walking on a road. <laughs> this is cool. Up here is more arcade games. Gamer's Delight, and then the Pinball Palace. Yeah, pinballs are my favorite arcade games. This is the other side of, this is the other side of the auto museum. See a lot of military vehicles around here in this area. <sighs> Very cool. And you got more exhibits right over here. Military cars. And you got the ranks. More arcade games. There are a lot of arcades in this place. And up ahead. It's what, I, it's what I considered my favorite movie theater of all time, Cinemark. It's the best one I've ever been to. Hey, Pinhead, 80 plus pinballs now available. <laughs> yeah, right now, oddly enough, it's not that crowded here. But it will give about an hour and then it'll all change. Well, let's keep checking out more of the area. We came down the road, there's more stuff up here, including more restaurants. You can see more on the left, I'll give you a close up of those. You got soda squatch. Of course, you have a CBD place. I don't smoke, but anyone there smokes, you should stop. And up here, this is funny. Milk, the house of cereal. And there, you can pay five dollars and have all you can eat cereal and milk of your choice. <laughs> There's Herbie. He's ready to race. Looks like the Excelsior's place is open, so we'll get to throw the axes today. So let's do it. fun throwing axes. I got a few targets, so highly recommend it. I'll put a link in the description. Let's make our way to the restrooms and uh, show you more of the go-kart track. Pretty cool, huh? Milk and cereal bar. I never thought I'd see the day. That's hilarious. <laughs> mm, 
Halloween's on the horizon, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Some more restaurants. Here's the 007 Bond restaurant. We're gonna try that, then after that we'll head to the museum. Pause the video at your convenience. Here we are in the 007 Museum. <laughs> I recognize this car right off the bat. It's in my personal favorite Bond movie, Goldfinger. There we, go. we got an odd job there. Very cool. Do a shot around the car. There's another photo of odd job right there. Yeah. You can see the movie title next to the props. Uh, another one of my top five favorites, Our Majesty's Secret Service. Yeah, there's a, a lot of great stuff. I'll show you some more close-ups as we go along. There's a plane used in Goldfinger, or Goldfinger Enterprises. I haven't even been in the museum for one minute, and this is incredible. Ah, Man with a Golden Gun, another one of my favorite Bond films. Look at the size of this place, ladies and gentlemen. Another decent Bond movie in my book. Uh, another one of my top favorite Bond movies, mm, Octopussy. Yep, good for the whole family. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Now we're getting to a good Bond, in my opinion, the best debut Bond film from any actor, Living Daylights, Timothy Dalton. And then one of my favorites, top five, License to Kill. Oh, there's the truck at the end from the truck chase. And fight, awesome. 
Then we get to one of the weaker ones, in my opinion, GoldenEye. <laughs> not a fan of that one, or Tomorrow Never Dies, but World's Not Enough and Die Another Day are two of my top five favorites. And then we get into the weaker part of the franchise, unfortunately. Yeah, but the, uh, if I had to pick a favorite of the Daniel Craig films, I'd say Casino Royale. But in my opinion, that's not saying too much. This is funny. To register to win. Treat your dad to a Bond adventure. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, these cars are cool and all, but I think I'll stick with my my own car. Then we'll continue around over here. A few more cars. I don't know if you're in the background. On a Magic Secret Service theme song. Definitely one of my favorite Bond theme songs. So much word spoken without any lyrics. Just the music is enough to express that emotions. That's awesome. Well, we'll do one more walk around, then we'll go ahead and move on. Yeah. I'm wearing the right hat for the occasion. Like uh, what Sean Connery, my favorite Bond actor, wore. He wore a hat similar to this one. Looks like over there is a souvenir shop. Maybe we'll check that out in a minute. Yeah, a lot of great stuff in here. A lot of cool stuff in here, that's for sure. Yeah, like I said, you can always pause the video at your convenience to take a closer look.
awesome. Yeah, to one last little panoramic shot over the museum and then we'll head on out of here. Yeah, if you're a big Bond fan like me, then come visit this museum. I highly recommend it. One more for good measure. The name's Bond. James Bond. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a silly impression, but it is what it is. So let's head on out of here. We'll move on. Back to the Bon Lange restaurant. It's the way to get out of here. It's pretty cool. Yep. Here's Mayor. <laughs> May not be the biggest fan of uh, the Cars franchise, but still, he's a cool character I know you guys like. So I thought I'd film him for you. So, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching the video. It was a blast in there, as always. Got to throw some axes, got to eat at the Bond restaurant, go into the Bond Museum, and lots of other cool things to see and do there. I'll definitely come back here again and maybe show you some more attractions sometime in the future. But for now, I uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Have a great day.